In Matthew 12, 36, Jesus says that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. So how are we going to feel when we stand to be judged by God for everything we have said, no matter how seemingly insignificant? Do our careless words cause someone great hurt? Were we too busy trying to get laughs from people that we had no time to share their real need of the gospel? Laughter is many, one of many wonderful gifts from God, but so are many other things that we end up abusing for fleshly satisfaction. There are times when laughter is truly a great medicine, but if not kept at the right dosage, it can bring about other problems, even inadvertently, just like any other medicine. We need the full counsel of the Word of God to set things in the right perspective. First of all, the Bible is not a funny book, is it? Yes, there are lines in Scripture that strike me as funny, and I may smile and laugh, but I honestly believe that there is not one intended joke in the entire Bible. I think God expects us to chuckle at things in His Word sometimes, but the core message of the Bible concerns Jesus' death on the cross for our sins, as He bore God's wrath in our place, and so this is bloody, not funny. Neither is it amusing that if we do not repent and trust in the finished work of Jesus to be saved, our eternity after death will be one of continual torment in the lake of fire. It's just not funny. In my younger years, I had a very pronounced sense of humor, and I still have many humorous observations within myself. That humor comes out more the better I know someone. Typically, my wife gets it all. But over the years, as I have grown in the Lord, I realize that with too much joking, I'm not likely to be taken very seriously. And this is a problem when trying to witness for Jesus Christ. I appreciate well-placed witticisms in sermons and testimonies, but often I see this speaker sink into a, a comedy entertainment routine and people start to trade serious convictions for laughter's convulsions. Fun and laughter are gifts from God and life will naturally give us plenty of these. But I think when we see professing Christians making a career out of comedy, a line has been crossed. This reflects a love for the world and its ways and is a serious squandering of time spoken against numerous times in the word of God. But the Bible addresses this issue of comedy and joking even more directly in the book of Ephesians. In chapter 5, it says, But fornication and all uncleanness or covetousness, let it not be named once among you as become a saints, neither filthiness nor foolish talking nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather the giving of thanks. For this ye know, that no whoremonger, nor unclean person, nor covetous man, who is an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. And let us consider seriously the conclusion that is reached in this passage in verses 6 and 7. It says, Let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of these things come, cometh the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. Be not ye therefore partakers with them. This is all part of one section. It's inevitable that every person will kid around sometimes. It's normal. But we ought to seek clarity in all of our communications and also seek to discipline ourselves in our actions and not get carried away. Make sure that those you're speaking to know what you mean. You get a brief picture of this in Job chapter 29 when he declares, If I laughed on, him, on them, they believed it not. Which seems to say that in the course of kidding around with others, they would know that Job wasn't seriously insulting them. That's the kind of integrity Job had, even when having fun with others. He is a great example, example to emulate in many ways. In the end, we are witnesses for Christ in our every word, and it's by these words that we'll either be justified or condemned. But if we truly love the Lord, we will gladly seek to please Him in this way also. Consider the, consider the spiritually fallen state of the world around you. Then consider the amount of time you spend deliberately trying to laugh or to be entertainment for others. It may be the right thing to do sometimes. It can be a benefit, but most of the time it's just thoughtless. All of us are prone to fall into this kind of trap. I'm no different, but the Lord will pull us out of this for his glory. If we will but seek him, seek him diligently. Every good gift is from the Lord. So let us honor him even with the gift of laughter as we seek earnestly to serve him every day. May God bless this message uh, to your edification. Remember the scriptures that are related in the description below.